Hello my loves and welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Daniela from Ocean Jasper and I'm so delighted to offer you this big card today because we're going to seek and receive guidance about your no contact situation to figure out your person's honest thoughts and feelings and their likely intentions for the near future. So let's have a look at our piles. We have hope in pile number one with the fluorite crystal and the gorse of stave. In pile number two, we have transformation with the amethyst crystal and the black thorn oam stave. And in pile number three, we have projections with the black tourmaline and the apple oam stave. So take a moment to make your choice. If you're drawn to more than a pile, that's absolutely fine. And when you're done, you can find the timestamps in the info box below that will bring you directly to the beginning of your reading. If you like the content, I would highly appreciate if you could support my channel. Simply leave a thumbs up, drop a comment, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell down below if you haven't done it yet, so you won't miss any of my new videos. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can find my email in the info box below together with my prices. And if you're interested in my OM set, I'd be more than happy to make one for you. Thanks for being here and I'll see you at the beginning of your reading. Hello my loves and welcome to your reading if you have picked the fluorite crystal with the gorse oam stave and the hope oracle card. So this is just a little introduction. I have already drawn some articles for you just for a check-in of your energies indeed. I want you to feel certain that this is your reading by giving you this little introduction indeed. I have asked how is it that you're feeling about this situation currently? What are your thoughts and feelings? And then just to counterbalance it, I've asked a few things about your person. How are their feelings right now? But just in a very general term, because indeed we want to dive much deeper into it with the tarot cards and here on top I have placed some cards that shares the commonality what is it that you're both um, feeling what is it that you have in common or what is the general energies of this connection right now okay I will be talking about the central card which will be more important later when I will be adding the title cards um, but yes so what I'm seeing here pile number one let's go ahead is that you have the beautiful card that represents water this beautiful goddess with shells in her hair um, and even on her necklace she is so comfortable sitting with her emotions swimming in her emotions this is telling me that you're definitely allowing yourself to express your anger your joy your frustration your sadness everything you're allowing yourself to express that either with by yourself writing a journal or singing out loud dancing or banging your feet on the ground or with your friends or perhaps you have a physical activity that you do to let all these emotions i'm sorry i shake the camera let these emotions um you know come come full circle come out of you like release them because it's really important to release our emotions otherwise you know they can cause physical ailment and um yeah they create stagnation which can cause a whole lot of trouble so i feel like you're very in tune with that you're very clever at sitting with them and letting them out this is also telling me that perhaps you still have lots of feelings towards your person because the water element does represent indeed um, feelings, romantic feelings as well. We also have the seventh house, which is the house of relationships in astrology, but is in reverse, which this is telling me that you might have a lot of sadness about the fact indeed that um, you're having the impression that this relationship, either you hoped it was the right one for you and then you're starting to think maybe it's not, or simply it's not going the right way that you want it to it, it feels like a disappointment in the area of relationships with the seventh house cards 
in the reverse and then more interestingly we have the card number nine because in this particular oracle deck there is lots of elements of numero numerology and astrology and as well as some elements from tarot it's a very unique deck. From the number nine, we get a few key words. Um, we have, and the one that speak out to me the most is possible endings, compassion, anxiety, releasing, aha moments, realizations, and forgiveness. This is such a mix of emotions. I feel like you're, you're thinking a lot about this connection and you're preparing yourself to the fact that it could potentially end. You're feeling a little anxious about a possible ending with this connection. But at the same time, you're trying to find the reason behind this. Why uh, as this situation evolved in such a way you're trying to really bring clarity and funny enough the fluoride crystal does bring clarity is the crystal that allows you to think clearly and so it's like you're trying to f figure out what truly happened within your person as well and you're trying to be very empathetic towards him or her towards them and um, feeling like you're even able to forgive them if you know the reasons why they behave in such a way you have no problem forgiving them nevertheless you know even though you have this deep unconditional love for your person no matter what uh, there is a little bit of uh, anxiety because you don't want this situation to end and the fact that they're not talking to you they're not texting or perhaps there is minimal contact is making you feel a little anxious um which is totally understandable from your person's side instead we have adaptation because this card of pride would talk about adversity and in reverse about adaptation and we have a bunch of seagulls that are possibly competing for food or yeah it seems like there's a sort of altercation between those seagulls or they're simply gathering for food it's hard to know for sure then we have the fifth house which is in reverse and then we have the emotion cards, which is in reverse. So kind of opposite as you, this person is having a hard time sitting with their emotions, understanding their emotions, feeling their emotions. Um, perhaps there is a rejection of their emotions. So as soon as they felt like they were starting to feel something towards you, they withdrew. <clears throat> and funny enough, my voice started to not be so clear and uh, it feels like uh, it's a sign that they were just unable to communicate that. They were unable to tell you uh, what was going on inside of them. There is this difficulty of expressing how they were feeling because probably they didn't know it themselves either or they were just not used to uh, speak uh, about their intimate emotion um, with somebody else. The fifth house tells me that they could be cheeky you know um not necessarily ready for a commitment because the fifth house does speak about you know the leo energy that wants to have fun wants to express want to have uh, want to be creative uh, want to be light-hearted uh, want to play want to be playful and uh, there's a lot of sunny energy in the fifth house but because it's in reverse this is telling me that it is coming out a little negatively so in my head when I associate those concepts with um, the aspect of the shadow of the fifth house then it brings me immediately this idea that your person might uh, be flying around like a butterfly from a flower to another just for their own um, fulfillment of their physical needs if you know what i mean and with very little regards for other people's emotions and because they disregard emotions in their whole um it's it's very hard for them to understand what is the other person feeling because they're just not going there it's like a 
totally different planet they just do not put foot on on that planet so uh, at the same time though with the card adaptation this is telling me that your person is trying to um, trying to put their is trying to feel is trying to look at the situation from a different perspective from your perspective they're trying to be open-minded and adapt you know to the fact you know now i see there is like the sand meeting the beach meeting the sorry the sand the beach meeting the water so this is earth element meeting the water element perhaps your person is trying to reconcile these two different elements and being like okay maybe we can meet at the middle uh they're they're trying to understand how is it to be you and receive the other end of you know how how is it to be on the other end of their behavior basically the common energies i giggled so much when those cards came out because there was a messenger card in reverse and the manifestation card this is literally trying to manifest a message that is not that hasn't come yet so being extremely anxious to receive a message and because it's in the common um area of the reading this is telling me that both of you are perhaps waiting for the other person to reach out which is very funny um perhaps reassuring to you uh i would hope uh, but definitely yeah i can see i can see that they are they're thinking about this they're thinking about their actions how they might have impacted you even though you know they have a hard time completing in medicine marcy what's that word in english um, yeah, com completely empathize with you uh, because perhaps there's a lot of masculine energy in, in, in them um, and not many experience with um, expressing their deep emotions. But nevertheless, <laughs> yeah, because I feel that there is there's a lot of water energy here, a lot of uh, moon energy and a lot of sun energy over there because of the fifth house so now let's grab the tarot i'm so curious if this resonated with you i would definitely suggest you to keep listening because we're going to find out a lot more if you hear any noises it's just my squeaky chair or squeaky pillow i'd say that i'm sitting on um there you go okay we're going to be using this beautiful, soft, delicate deck. Is the universal, what's it called again? Crystal Unicorn Tarot. There's no universe in it at all. <laughs> Crystal Unicorn Tarot. We're going to be using reversal cards as well. Perhaps it's a good idea to take all these cards off the table and start over just to not make a mess so hang on a minute there you go so we're going to be shuffling together this time and ask to your higher self to your spirit team to your ancestors to your angels Whoever you believe that is out there for you, protecting you and keeping an eye on you. We're asking if we can pretty please access to your person's thoughts and feelings. If they can access your person's thoughts and feelings in order for us to receive some guidance and clarity so that you can have some peace about this situation and know what to expect this is for pile number one with the fluoride the hope card and the gores of one stave for pile number one please and thank you
Wow, we have the Justice card. The Ace of Swords, very nice. The Hanged Unicorn. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. The Age of Pentacles. And the Five of Pentacles. We're going to start with these. It's not very symmetrical because I'm at the very end of the table. And I don't see very well from here. But let's make it work. Maybe another card. Another card, please and thank you. Their thoughts and feelings for pile number one. Please and thank you. Okay, seven of cups in reverse. And ten of pentacles in the reverse position. The fact that the Justice and the Ace of Swords were the first cards coming out, it is absolutely promising because this is telling me that your person wants indeed to fix things. They want to bring clarity. They want to bring communication. Absolutely. Um, they, they want to make amends as well. If they've done anything wrong to you, they want to make amends with that Justice card which is absolutely promising. They they might have been able to recognize that they weren't totally fair towards you and therefore uh, they want to come forward and admit that. They want to be honest and straightforward. Um, but at the same time, we have the Hanged Unicorn upright and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. It's like... Yes, they want to do this. Yes, they have that beautiful intention to clear things up between the two of you and, you know, to put everything on the table, to, to show all of their cards, to, to make amends, like we said, but not right now. With that hanged unicorn, they still need time to reflect and see things from a different perspective indeed they are like literally putting themselves upside down so that they can see the world from a different angle so that maybe the light will come to them and they will have that aha moment that realization that hasn't inspired them just yet but they know they know that they need time to think so they're taking this time that's why the no contact and with that wheel of fortune in reverse it could be resistance f resistance towards things to change perhaps they are scared of once they're going to be completely truthful towards you things will change and that's how powerful words are isn't it it is absolutely scary sometimes especially for a person that has been hiding themselves you know in the sand it is it can be quite scary to come up to the surface finally share everything that they haven't been um, communicating before because that will most likely you have some consequences. And the Wheel of Fortune, you know, whenever you spin that wheel, it could bring you luck or it could bring you the opposite. So they are scared of, of the bad consequences um, of being completely honest. And one of the consequences that they could face is to be abandoned, left out in the cold, um, left out alone and not being understood, um, being rejected. And I feel that this could be one of the major things that they're scared about. Okay, so there could be something that they've been hiding and they're scared to share, but I feel that the intention is there. The intention is to bring clarity. Okay, with that fluoride crystal, it is all about being truthful and honest and transparent and communicate clearly. So that makes sense that we found the Ace of Swords with within this pile the ten of pentacles in reverse as well this could be if you guys um, 
I doubt you guys are living together because it would be very hard to have no contact if you guys are living together. But there are unfortunately situations in which, yes, some people are living together and they're not talking to each other. So I take that back. But um, if you guys are living together, then your person might be scared that you will decide to leave, to leave the home, to just move elsewhere. Or this is a general feeling that they're going to lose you because you represented their home. Even if you weren't living together, this could be fear of losing you, of losing the comfort of this relationship. Especially if you guys had big dreams for the future and you were planning things ahead for, for the future. Now, something else that we have here is the eight of pentacles and the seven of cups is it again is super promising because the seven of cups in reverse tells me that your person is done being confusing and confusing you as well is done being absolutely um, victim of the multiple choices the universe has for them this is especially the energies of a person in their early 20s, that they are extremely confident with themselves, they know that they're hot and they can see with how many people they could be with and how easy it is and they just love the immediate satisfaction and it is super hard for them to settle with someone because they just want to taste all the flavors isn't it so because it's in reverse it is promising because it is telling me that your person is done being confusing just do not want to consider all of those options anymore but want to choose one and one only and we want to work with that with that eight of pentacles is the card of dedication hard work and being having like a tunnel vision towards one person specific person want to be absolutely serious been providing for you etc so these are all beautiful cards um the intention is definitely beautiful it does take time for them to come back there is a little bit of fear of the consequences but nevertheless we do have the hope card here with the deer it's not a deer it's a stag yes and stag is embracing masculinity he is um he wants to win the battle with any other competitors he wants to be the man for you you. and this is the hope after the despair this is the light after the darkness they do not like to be without you and they are having this immense life force energies um, driving through them, flowing through them with that gorse or I'm saying, that is giving them that instinct to push forward, that motivation, that excitement to push forward okay it's literally just like an instinct like the instinct that the stag would have to fight with another uh, male deer just to establish who has the power um it's that um it's it's that instinctual and it's a really strong flame with that gorse and the gorse funny enough also include a lastiness uh, among among their the concepts that these own save embrace there is that one as well um so definitely they are physically attracted towards you they want to pursue this there is that masculine drive that we want um no matter if they you know no matter what gender they are um it feels like because you represent the feminine energy with that water element that we found and they were represented by the sun energy it feels like you are the one waiting and open to receive and the reflecting one the one that is happy uh, sitting with their emotions and he's or they are the provider, the chaser, the, the the pursuer. Okay, so I feel that there is the right energy, the right intention. Little bit of fear, little bit of insecurity. That is human. 
needs a little bit of time but let's see let's get more cards and see what is likely to happen in the near future what should you expect in the near future and then we're going to get a guiding message for you as well some advice for you to what to do in the meantime so their intention for the near future i mean we've seen it we've seen their intentions for sure probably what is best to ask is like i want to know how deep those insecurities are and how are they likely to face uh, those doubts and insecurities especially the fear the fear that the wheel of fortune will bring back consequences how are they likely to deal with that I want to know if they're going to be able to control that fear or if they're going to let the fear overcome them. Please and thank you. How are they likely to deal with that fear? Please and thank you. Ten of Swords. And Six of Pentacles. That's nice. And page of swords, okay. I feel that initially it is gonna be overbearing, but it's not gonna last too long. Indeed, the ten of swords is the last card of the sword suit. Yes, it talks about someone that feels absolutely defeated by some burdens, some fears, some betrayal, etc. But they're super close to find the light. It is indeed when a wall is cracked that the light can come through, isn't it? And so right after that, there is a six of pentacles, which is the card of being able to receive help or to provide help. There is equal give and take. So I feel that they are realizing there is no point for me staying in bed, despairing about the situation or being scared about the worst possible scenario when I do have the power to fix it. I simply have to bring attention towards her, towards them and give them something that I haven't been able to give in the past and show them that I have equal interest. Once I do that, once I express that, once I'm honest about it, um, everything is going to be fine, okay? And the Page of Swords is telling me as well that this person, yes, wants to start something with you that is going to be more balanced, uh, but also wants to take things quite slowly. The Eight of Pentacles is a slow energy as well as the fact that the page of swords is a page and it's not a knight so it is a bit of a slower energy someone that wants to take one tiny step at a time um so what else are we going to ask What else are we going to ask? I want to know more about these eight of pentacles. How are they going to show up for you, literally? Because we just we don't need just words. So we want to know practically how are they intended to show up for you? How are they intended to show up for you? Please and thank you for pile number one. Wow, the Empress, they want to treat you like a queen. They literally want you to sit there, be comfortable. They're going to bring you tea, bring you lunch, and bring you dinner. And they're going to do a pedicure, and wash your hair from the couch. Like, I don't know, <laughs> they're just going to give you all massage treatment possible. Put lovely music, incense, everything you want. They literally want to treat you like a queen. They realize how much value exists in you and within this connection. And they just adore how feminine you are. And they recognize the, the, the abundance that you bring in their life. And how absolutely important you are. You're vital to them. You're absolutely vital to them. Uh, without you, it feels like there is a desertic dry land around them but with you it feels like there is a lush and green forest growing all around so beautiful 
so beautiful what else how are they practically going to show dedication towards pile number one please and thank you the hermit so if before they were spending lots of times playing video games in their dark room or just um yeah isolating themselves and uh, they're not gonna do that anymore with the hermit in reverse so if they have some deep reflection to do they're going to do it they're going to face it and they're going to be happy to share that with you as well um what else we have the four four of ones yeah this is the card of the house in reverse next to the hermit in reverse this could be uh, isolating within their home uh, especially if you guys are not living together this could be them being like never going out or perhaps they were having dates with you at their house like yeah come over for netflix and chill boring like how lame <laughs> and they're recognizing that you've you're a high value woman uh, or high value person anyway and um um that you are deserving a much better treatment than just netflix and chill so they do not want to simply bring you at home and you know spending like the whole weekend in the dark with the curtain closed um just no <laughs> they they want to do something special for you what else what else we have here temperance yeah they want to make your life easier they want to bring peace in your life and they want to bring balance they want to help you solve any issues uh, that you might have they want to you know kind of like yeah like what i said earlier giving you like pedicure and putting the incense there is the amethyst crystal there as well so they want to allow you to feel calm and safe around them and relaxed and comforted and nourished that's what i'm getting and cal yeah calming your mind now any advice for you in the meantime any advice for pal number one in the meantime what do they need to know in the meantime an advice for pal number one nine of cups this is focusing on your wish just embrace embrace leave at the end goal as if this is already happening imagine the scenario that i have just ex explained imagine that this is already happening to you the nine of cups also have a beautiful independent energy so you need to do all of those treatments for yourself you shouldn't just wait for another person to do to do them for you so go to the spa go get some massages go get a pedicure for yourself go to the hairdresser go to the cinema bring yourself out on a date uh, go for dinner by yourself so try to bring that happiness in your life by yourself and that will help you being in that vibrational state where you are attracting people that are going to treat you in that same way okay so that's everything i have for you but before we close the reading i just really wanted to thank you guys for your trust in my readings and for choosing me as your title reader but especially if you guys know me already i wanted to apologize for the huge um break that i've had and it was completely unannounced i have been absolutely awful and not communicating what was going on and basically just disappeared uh, there were certainly some dark things happening in my life and at some point i just i couldn't ignore them anymore i was using sometimes youtube to distract myself which was absolutely amazing it worked for a long time but eventually i just had to realize i couldn't resist those big changes that were coming ahead in front of me anymore and i, I just had to do something about it and it was a massive 
transformation for me that required all of my energies where I had none energy left in my body absolutely but I still had to force myself to do it and so unfortunately a lot of the things got neglected in the way and then there was all that period of having to adapt myself to that new life basically um yes which it was definitely extremely demanding um but i've missed you guys and yeah i cannot promise anything just yet but ideally i'd love to do at least a reading per week and hopefully even more in the meantime guys though if you would like to work with me obviously the private readings are always available so feel free to contact me through my email for that but also you will find me more often on tiktok at this stage because um it just happened to be bringing abundance a little bit more easily and yeah a little bit more on the go um without you know asking three four hours of recording videos so it was a little more immediate a little more quick and that's what i needed at the time so i i'm i'm definitely there a little more often but hopefully i find a good balance because i want to be here more often too um so but if you don't find me here you will definitely find me on tiktok okay so i do lives there i do i offer some free mini readings as well as paid readings on the live so find me there and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime that i'm live i hope you guys have been doing have been keeping well and i'd love to hear from you pop a comment if you've been here before and even if you're new uh welcome to my channel i'm so so happy to have you here on board so until the next time best of luck with your connection and much love Hello my loves and welcome to your reading if you have picked the Amethyst Crystal in pile number 2 with the Transformation card and the Black Thorn Orm Save. Now this I feel is a really powerful energy. First of all because you got the Transformation card which is the death card in the traditional tarot system. Now this deck that I'm using it is not a traditional deck whatsoever because it does include astrology it does include numerology some of the major the major arcanas but with different names and some key concepts of the tarot uh, plus more so it has his own original unique system so i'm only going to use this deck for a little introduction of the energy so on the left we have your energies what are your thoughts and feelings about the situation just so that you can make sure that this is the right reading for you if this part resonates then i feel you can continue watching the rest we have on the right your person energies but on a very we're just going to touch on them briefly with this deck because we're going to dive much deeper with um, my tarot decks later on we're gonna have a whole table spread about your person thoughts and feelings so that is just a lightly you know just skimming through the surface um and then we have some communal energies on the top so what is it that you guys have in common the general energies of this situation um what is it that you're both feeling at the same time something that you're sharing i sorry if you're gonna hear some building noise in the background it's funny how i just decided to get back into tarot into my you taking care of my youtube channel just when um building started next door which is hilarious but i really hope you guys are not gonna hear it too much and the windows open as well because it's terribly hot and i really cannot close it uh, so i hope you won't hear too many noises anyway go let's go back to your energies you have the card of introspection then you have the card of the third house in reverse and the potential in reverse which necessarily turns into blockages 
Now, I find this very interesting because in the potential card we have an acorn. Inside of the acorn there is all the DNA and all the genetic material and the physiological material uh, to create an oak tree. And this is absolutely amazing if we think, if we meditate on what a seed, what a single seed can truly do. It's incredible. But it has to be sitting in the right conditions, in the right fertile moist soil, with the right shade, dappled sunlight, and um, the right hydration, and the right nutrients in the soil. So because it's in reverse, this is telling me that perhaps this acorn, which could symbolize you, is sitting in the wrong soil or is simply feeling like it's neglected, it's not receiving enough light or enough sunlight. So instead of feeling like there is a potential in this connection, you're feeling like there is a blockage in this connection. So it doesn't necessarily have to be representing you per se, but your vision about this connection and this relationship. So you feel that there is a blockage that is not allowing growth and it's not allowing expansion. Okay, so like if it has to continue like it is, you're not going to be happy. This is not enough for you. Uh, there is stagnation. And it is in, it's, a, it's actually interesting. Because even the transformation card has stagnation as keyword. Especially if the card was in reverse. Uh, it's nice though that it's not in reverse. So you're willing to embrace a transformation. Even though right now things are stagnant. You're believing that it is possible for these energies to change. And so you are, first of all, doing the work on yourself with that introspection. You're asking yourself, what is it that I can do myself to allow this transformation? Maybe there are certain, um, certain behaviors of mine that are affecting the relationship and I'm not realizing it because they are part of my... Um, automatic um, set of behaviors that I never analyzed, that I never looked up, that I never critic. Um, so maybe it's just there is something that I could personally do. Sometimes even just a tone of voice or like we come back from work and we're like stressed, we're carrying the stress from our day and without realizing we're transferring it to the other person, without realizing we are treating them in a nasty way or like snapping at them even though they might be sweet. This is just an example. I'm not at all telling you that this is what you're doing. This is just an example of how tiny little things could affect uh, the other person. And it's amazing that you have the maturity to look within to see if there's anything at all you could do differently. And then we have the third house in reverse. The third house um, speaks especially about communication. So the fact that this card is in reverse is telling me that the blockages most likely have something to do with the communication. Not necessarily, we're not necessarily talking about the fact that you're in no contact right now. This could be the fact that even when you were in contact, the communication wasn't that great. Um, perhaps you didn't feel understood. Perhaps uh, you felt like your words were taken the wrong way. Perhaps you felt like they were distracted when you were talking or perhaps you have a very different style of communication. Um, something else that the third house speaks of is, let me see if there's anything that could refer to your situation. The environment, again, you could have been in the wrong environment and that might have not helped the communication to to happen smoothly, to flow smoothly. That's something that I'm thinking of. Perception, listening skills, intellectual pursuits, imagination, bias. Yeah, it feels like there's also community, neighbor, sibling, research. 
So it could be for some of you that you guys are not understanding each other because you're coming from two different groups of people, two different uh, communities. And so your philosophies, your way of looking at life, your way of communicating is very different. For example, Italians can be quite passionate when they have an argument. They can shout, even if, it, if they're just in a different floor and they want to communicate with each other, they shout, it's just normal there. And, but in other cultures, like I'm seeing here in Ireland, there's no way that people would shout from a floor to another. Uh, to, to just talk and uh, they would come near to each other and so even just that difference could be perceived as anger, as annoyance, as you know, passive aggressiveness, uh, you know, it could be perceived differently because you guys are coming from two different backgrounds. That's what I'm seeing, two different soils. So the same type of communication in your country would have an impact and in their country a totally different impact. The third house is also the houses of languages. So it could be that you have a difficulties because you speak a different language, like literally a different language. Um, so that's how you're feeling that's how you're feeling and let's see your person we have fifth house and seventh house both in reverse and the messenger card it's in reverse too the fifth house is the leo energy it's funny because we got that card as well in pile number one perhaps you'd like to have a look at that pile as well so this is telling me that your person might have not feeling or is not feeling like they are they are comfortable in their masculine energy it's also feeling like they have a hard time expressing themselves they have a hard time being playful they have they have a hard time being themselves perhaps exploring their hobbies as well um or because the fifth house is a hard is a card of fun as well and playing and and light-hearted energy it could be it could be that this relate or the idea of relationship in general is blocking their idea of fun they find it really hard to merge those two concepts for them, it's impossible to have fun if you're in a committed relationship. And they have a hard time as well telling you this with that messenger in reverse. The messenger is like the archetype of the of all the pages in the title. And the pages are, especially the page of cups, would, would have a hard time expressing their emotions. Uh, but also the page of ones will have a hard time being curious and exploring new territories. Page of pentacles in reverse would have a hard time committing and sticking to one particular plan and believing in themselves, in their ability to pursue things on a bigger scale. And page of swords would have a hard time expressing, you know, their thoughts um, and yeah, liberating their mind. So I feel that there is a blockage is definitely from their side in communicating what they're thinking and feeling and that's why you are frustrated with that blocks. Like if this is the way you're communicating to me, we're not going anywhere. I can do as much work as I can, but nevertheless, you have to do something about it too. It cannot be just me. And they certainly have some type of... Um, change of mind that is happening here being the transformation here as well they are realizing that perhaps you guys have two different mindsets two different mentalities or uh, they realize that maybe what they thought they wanted to pursue is not really what what their soul is is calling them to do uh, it could be that they simply have not matured enough because the pages as well um, are always the archetype of youth someone that doesn't have enough experience, someone that is quite, yes, young and um, doesn't have a whole baggage of knowledge. 
um, so yeah, quite childish, you know, especially the pages in reverse, they can be very childish. And yet yeah, the seventh house is all about the relationship, partnership, committing. I'll tell you some other keywords that we have in here. Cooperation, agreements, collaboration, codependency, boundaries, you know, harmony. And so it feels like they might have this idea that in relationship there's always arguments. There's always oppositions, you, the, the people always antagonize themselves. Maybe they just have the wrong concept of relationship because they didn't have a good example in their childhood. Now, something interesting here is the common energies. We have confusion in the first house. This is confusion about the self. Who I am? Who am I? What do I want from life? What do I want? What am I creating? Um, who, how do I want to be perceived? What are my needs? What, what do I like? You know, it feels like there's a deep confusion here in both of you. You both are sharing this confusion. And uh, that is beautiful. That, if this relationship have had the ability to trigger this huge question, uh, spiritual question in you, then that's it, that's where the whole scope of this relationship was, perhaps. This is where, this is the reason why you got to be together. One of the reasons is that you needed to be triggered into wondering who you are truly, instead of just fitting in a tight box, you know, getting in a relationship because that's what people do, for example. Um, or respecting certain beliefs that doesn't that don't really belong to you perhaps they belong to previous generations but who are you truly are you listening to friends family society or are you listening to who you are truly it's beautiful that this blockage happened because it is indeed allowing you both to be introspective and to dive deep into yourself and to, to go through this huge transformation. Just like the eggs in a nest go through a massive transformation, there will never be eggs again. Uh, but it doesn't mean that what is dead is, is um, it doesn't mean that that part of dying, um, it doesn't represent the end of everything. Yes, it's not going to be an egg anymore, but they are going to blossom into a beautiful adult bird with all sorts of different skills. They're going to be able to fly. How incredible is that? So yes, a part of you is like, I feel like this relationship is allowing you both to let a part of you die and another part of you blossom. This is death and regeneration. So beautiful. So we're going to clear all of this and we're going to grab a deck now so we can shuffle together and pick cards together to dive deep into your person. And I'm going to keep this bunch you know, of beautiful elements because we're going to talk more about it. The black thorn and the amethyst together with the other cards that we're going to get. Okay, so wait for me for a second and I'll clear all this and come back to you. Okay my loves, here we are. We're using the unicorn crystal deck. This is such a delicate, innocent deck. Uh, it's very, uh, it's very gentle. The lid is very gentle and it allows healing, especially the healing of inner child. I love it for that. So we're going to see how is it your person thinking and feeling about this particular connection in which you both are in no contact. I think you might hear there is a magpie. She's coming closer because I do throw some little, hmm, what's it called? Little worms anyway. I'm feeding, I'm feeding the magpie family. So. Interesting that this is happening because it could be a sign for you that 
you, you both need to communicate, it doesn't matter who's going to start, um, you both need to communicate and speak with each other. So let's see how is your person thinking and feeling about this connection in which you both are in no contact, please and thank you. Eight of Wands, very, <laughs> very comical because the card of communication is in reverse. Ace of Cups in reverse. We also have the Two of Pentacles. Then we have the Hermit in reverse. That is a good news. The Knight of Cups. Maybe that's not such a good news after all then. And then the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. A lot of blocked energy, as you can see, most of the cards are in the reverse position, except for the two of pentacles, which is the card of confusion and doubts and insecurities, and having a hard time making a particular choice. Um, I feel that they are pondering the idea to talk to you um, and, and start again from zero and uh, and give a chance to this connection and talking to you romantically again. They are thinking about it, but they're going back and forth. They're going back and forth. They don't know exactly what is it the right thing to be doing. And uh, they also have the hermit in reverse. This is a hard time being being honest with themselves this is a hard time retiring they, they find it hard to be by themselves they find it hard to be alone um but also they find it hard to be transparent to look within uh to, to find the light within and to understand why this is happening it's like they're not being they're not awaking that inner critic whatsoever knight of cups in reverse this is the card of someone that either would like to make an action but is not doing it. Or the card of someone that does not want to pursue anything romantically, to be honest, especially because the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. Okay, I get it. If they feel like you're so more mature than them, being a Queen of Pentacles, but it's kind of antagonizing who they are truly because they are a child. Like we saw earlier with the messenger, they're still a child. So instead of being able to see the light in you, instead of being able to put you like on a pedestal, admiring you, respecting you, they are seeing you as the nagging mom that is telling them to grow. And they're like, F you, I don't want to. So um, it's um, unfortunately, they're not able to see who, um, how beautiful you are. And that's that's why you felt that the acorn was stuck. Like, I am so, I have such a majestic potential within me and is nothing is happening. Why? It's because you were like a neglected plant that was not being watered, was not being taken care of, and you were just not thriving in that environment. You need to be with someone that is able to see how incredible you are, how beautiful you are, intelligent, how gracious you are, how feminine, how how much abundance you can bring in life. The King of Pentacles is so, so good um, bringing comfort to people. She's really good with finances as well, creating anything around her. Really good gardener as well. Uh, anything that needs to be done with your hands, you're good at it. Extremely creative. Uh, but more so in a practical way. It's not like the Queen of Wands that is all artsy. Queen of Pentacles is more like, you know, let's get the hands dirty so that we can bring some food on the table. Um, <clears throat> yeah, they're not able to see your potential and, um, and they are antagonizing you. You are telling them, you know, you need to grow, you need to look within, you need to figure out, you know, figure out your shit, um, f you know, get your shit together. And they're like, no, I'm not doing that. Uh, Knight of Cups in reverse can be the person that loves to be charming, loves to um, get the benefits of romance without putting in the commitment. Very, 
very nice isn't it they just want the perfect combination that requires the minimum effort and obtains the maximum pleasure and who cares about what the other person needs it's like queen of pentacles in reverse you need your it's like you're on your own they don't want to be your king they don't want they do not want to truly be your equal okay so that's why they're pondering they're going back and forth because yes they do love the romantic benefits that comes um from being with you they do love you know kissing you cuddling uh, with you receiving your love and uh, maybe you cook them dinner you give them all those relationship benefits and it makes them feel really calm as well with that amethyst but um they are definitely they're definitely they don't seem to be committed okay they don't seem to be committed that that's why they find it hard to come to you and talk to you because it's not like they can come to you with the great news that you were hoping to receive like yes i'm sorry i be i was i was being so childish i was just not seeing what i was doing wrong now i see you now i f i know how lucky i am to be with you you know all things that you would have liked to hear they're not able to to give them to you because they still want to be that little boy that is just having a little bit of fun without commitment this is really sad and i feel that on our collective energies a lot of us are experiencing this uh, we are also having the black tone. The black tone does speak about a change that you cannot. Um, sorry, the noises are being so annoying. I hope you don't hear them too much. Um, a change that you cannot avoid. This is adversity, is a transformation that is being set. It, it cannot. Yes, it cannot be avoided. So it feels like. I'm going to close the window so maybe it's going to improve a little bit. Sorry, guys. It feels like this situation is calling you to calmly accept this huge transformation. It's something that you cannot avoid. Um, that Yes, it would have been nice if they could go through it and, and do, do, do something to improve themselves and show up and the way that you wanted to but it feels like they're kind of stuck in their ways and you just have to calmly accept that they're not going to be giving you what you need and so if if the situation is calling you to break up then you should calmly accept this as something that is necessary and that is going to bring a lot of light in your life I'm going to see what is hmm, what is the likely outcome if you decide to stay and what is the likely outcome if you decide to go please and thank you for pile number two Mm -hmm. really independent cards we're trying to pop out of the deck there the nine the nine of pentacles and the queen of wands so what is likely to happen if they decide to stay with this person even though they're not showing up as they wanted what is likely to happen if they decide to accept them for who they are and lower their expectations and settle with this situation even though it's not bringing a lot of growth at the minute what is likely to happen well of fortune is like some change is bound to happen no matter what yeah tower the tower if you stay the universe is gonna push this connection to break apart no matter what tower often can speak about yet yeah, things absolutely crumbling down um 
it if it if it doesn't mean break up, it definitely means a, a dramatic change that is going to that is going to allow you to strip down all of the blockages, all of the old patterns, and start fresh from zero. But to be honest, let's see what's the next card, the moon. Yeah, it is. It's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be a very intense emotional time. Uh, I feel that. Yeah, the change is about is bound to happen. A really big change is bound to happen, and sometimes when we go against our instinct, our intuition, when we go against what we know that is right for us, the universe is gonna slap us in the face in a really strong way. What is likely to happen if they decide to leave this person? What is likely to happen if they decide to leave? Please and thank you for pile number two with the amethyst and the black thorn. What is likely to happen if pile number two decides to calmly accept that this is over because she is not thriving in this environment and she deserves much better treatment and a person that is her equal. What is likely to happen if she if they decide to go? King of Swords in reverse, they're, they're not going to like it. Nine of Wands in reverse. And the High Priest says, yeah, you're definitely going to cause some heartbreaks if you go. With that, Nine of Wands in reverse. This is the card of the Wounded Warrior, the Nine of Wands. Oh, sorry, I'm just noticing. You can't properly see it. Um, let's make some little space. Is this better? Um, yeah, my perfectionist inside of me, my triple virgonist is not happy about this. <laughs> but you get the gist. Um, so... Yes, the Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior. King of Swords is someone that can actually snap. This can actually, I feel like, yes, your person is, might show how unhappy they are going to be with your decision. Um, they might act as a victim, but I feel that this is going to be just an act. They they would love they would love to be the victim in the situation rather than you. Oh my goodness, this is so manipulative. The King of Swords is extremely manipulative. They're gonna be showing as if they're so heartbroken, as if you're ruining their life, as oh my goodness, this is so triggering. Uh, but in fact, you know, they just they're just doing it to manipulate your, your feelings. Do not show as a bad guy. They just don't want to be seen as a bad guy. So they try to make you look like the bad person. But if you transcend all of this with the High Priestess, the High Priestess is the third eye card. It is the card about following your intuition, receiving spiritual downloads, recognizing the good from the bad. Like you really need to keep your third eye super open. You see also the unicorn is right in the third eye placement. Uh, you need to be really, really able to discern what's real from what's fake because you're going to be... They're gonna try to play you. They're gonna try to play you for sure. But what uh, what is gonna be a blessing in pile number two once they decide to leave their life? What is gonna be a blessing? And what is a message of guidance for them as well? Any advice? Blessing and guidance for pile number two. I'm so sorry that you're gonna be pushed to make such a big move even though it's against your will and you really wanted to grow, you really wanted to give this connection a chance. What is, what are going to be some blessings if you decide to go and what is some guidance that Pile number 2 need to hear? Please and thank you. 
Ace of Pentacles, bright new beginnings, such a new solid foundation that you can rely upon. This is all about meeting your physical material needs, being able to dream again, finding someone that is a giver, that it, it, will, it will be such a gift in your life. Let's see some more. Yeah, Five of Cups, I feel that you're going to be able to eventually you know this new beginning is gonna be is gonna allow you to move on from the past it's normal that initially you're gonna wonder could i have done anything different should i have stayed there you're gonna have some feelings like that initially you're gonna be super super upset about um you know this wine that has been spilled rather than looking at the wine that is still there standing for you so eventually yes you're going to be able to release all of this with that ten of wands you're going to be able to release all the burdens release all the attachment from the past um any message of guidance for pile number two please and thank you queen of cups in reverse it's really important that before loving somebody else unconditionally you start doing that for yourself absolutely important five of wands in reverse that's interesting talks about oh knight of wands now my goodness this is a lot of forceful energy passionate energy coming in five of wands in reverse is competition as well as conflicts what am i seeing here now can I sing some guidance for surely the Queen of Cups in reverse is telling you to you know focus all of your unconditional love towards yourself like I said so this is um, this can be expressed in so many different ways from self-care you know finding a new skincare routine for yourself get a haircut buying some new clothes for yourself, getting a massage, go to the spa, go to the beach, go take a walk in nature, bake a cake just for yourself, buy yourself a treat, um, you know, something uh, that makes you feel like you're in the center of your own world and you receive the priority. Five of Wands, it could be like a lot of people demanding your attention and fighting to be with you and you should just oh like people that are trying to include you in their drama yes and some type of self-care is going to be like being completely indifferent to that drama being like this is not um this is not something that i want to invest my energies in okay so the night of wands is a much more adventurous creative energy so whether those five of wands are like people that would would like to be with you and you have to discern whether they are going to bring drama in your life or not or whether they are the wrong type of friends around you wrong type of communities that you should you know step away from and be inspired instead by that night of wands um what else am i seeing guidance for a pile number two please and thank you or oh, could also be that your person will try to um, come back to you very quickly and you're gonna feel the internal conflict like what should i do should i accept them back or should i not and you will know you will know based on that queen of cups what is she telling you she's telling you to prioritize your self-care and then bringing lots of more drama in your life is not the right thing to be doing so be be careful about that that's what i'm sensing that they're telling you now we will be doing a new videos in the near future about what is it that is coming new in your love life so certainly be looking forward to that we're just gonna have a little preview to that we're gonna get a couple of cards what is coming new in pile number two's love life what is coming next in pile number two's love life 
Page of Swords in reverse. Queen of Wands. And Seven of Wands. That's interesting. Page of Swords in reverse. I feel like for some reason, for some time, you're going to keep attracting these immature figures that, that page of swords that are not very good with communication, that are not straightforward, that are not, um, yeah, they're not satisfying your mental needs as well to have stimulating conversations. And so the Queen of Wands is all about um, having a whole chapter where you are the main protagonist and you are taking care of your of your arts, of your passions, of your craft, anything uh, that you'd like to um, pursue in life. I feel like you're gonna be focusing on yourself, okay, for a while. Um, this is about yeah, I feel that it's, it's, you're going to start dating yourself. Seven of Wands is like you will be embracing that energy of like fighting for yourself, defending yourself, defending what's right for you. And um, and also kind of creating a sort of barrier that will keep people with bad intentions away. I feel that, yeah, for some time they're just going to be... Um, you're just gonna be happy to be single now this is what i'm seeing based on the current energies anything can always change remember this is a general reading take only whatever resonates and leave the rest but even in private readings you're allowed to say no i don't want that to happen i'm gonna change it thank you so much for showing me what is likely to happen if i remain in these energies but i don't like the outcome so I'm gonna do my best to change it. You know, you can, you are the master manifester of your life. So nothing that I say here is is bound, um, you know, to your life in such a way that you cannot um, change it slightly if you wanted to. Okay, you can entirely deny the reading if you're not happy with this, and and you know, change your attitude, change your mentality. Um, I always say that that is a possibility, so don't feel like you're stuck with this if you don't want it to happen. But uh, yeah, what I see based on the current energy is that you will be enjoying some time by yourself and it will allow you to be uh, empowering yourself and discovering yourself. That's why we got the confusion card next to the first house. You need to... Uh, take advantage of that energy of confusion and uh, allowing it to to fulfill this inner drive to discover who you truly are and express yourself and find your true colors. So that was the reading for you, my dear. I hope you've been you've been enjoying it. Thank you so much if you could support my channel. It would be so so amazing. Watching up until now has been already um, a great achievement, but if you can like, comment, subscribe, and etc, etc, it would be absolutely amazing. I'm always here if you need a private reading. You can find the infos in the info box below if you'd like to contact me. And you will find my prices there as well. Now, I really have to rush to work. So, thank you so much for listening up until now. I wish you the very best and with your connection and with your next achievements in life and I hope to see you very soon. Much love. Hello my loves and welcome to your reading. If you have picked pile number three with the projections card, the apple of um stave and the black tourmaline. What you're seeing here is a tiny spread that it just has the intention for you to recognize if this is the right reading for you or not. Indeed, in the left side we have drawn some articles about your energy, in the right side about your person energy and in the middle some common energies between the two of you some shared energies okay so after this is gonna last about five minutes or so then we can um, dive deep into the energies of your person's thoughts and feelings about this no contact situation with the tarot cards okay 
So what do we have here? For you, we have the night movement and the card number three. You have to know in this particular oracle deck, there is lots of different elements from astrology, numerology, some major arcanas from the traditional system of the tarot and some other images, cards with like oracle words on them. So that's why you're going to see a bit of a mix. I am introducing as well the meaning in the reversals. So that's why you're seeing this number three in reverse. So what I'm seeing here from your energy is that with the number three in reverse, you feel like there is not enough growth happening. The situation is not blooming at the speed that you wanted it to bloom. You feel like your person perhaps is not really... Uh, taking care of the connection as you are perhaps you feel like you're more in your masculine energy and your person is more in their feminine energy you feel like you you're really involved with personal growth and your person perhaps is not um i feel like you are also suffering from lack of communication between the two of you i mean obviously because it's a no contest situation because the number three it's about communication as well so definitely that element is coming up as well to just confirm um perhaps not necessarily because you're not talking right now it could also be a limited communication uh going on between the two of you even when you were in the middle of this connection so you just felt like communication wasn't flowing very well. Perhaps you felt like they didn't have uh, the same amount of education as you do. So the range of topics that you could talk about was quite limited. And perhaps you also feel like you don't like their uh, community. You might not like their friends, the typology of friends that they have chosen for themselves because you feel like it is hindering their growth instead of supporting them. And you are pretty much on your personal growth journey, self-discovery. So it just feels like this connection is not nourishing you as much as you want it to. Perhaps you feel like you're always the one taking initiatives with the night always the one making the first move, arranging a date, deciding what to do, starting up a conversation as well and uh, you feel like you're the one with much more activity in your life going on and also being this the seahorse, a keywords for commitment, you feel like you are definitely the one that would be open for commitment and your person perhaps not so much you're not seeing this confirmation on the other side you feel like a lonely seahorse where is a partner because they're always paired up for life mm. also the seahorse uh, in um, is the one that is taking care of the babies is the one that is actually um, not going through a real pregnancy but just like having a marsupial and having all the babies inside from what I know so it's like the you are the male of the connection and it's perhaps is not satisfying you so much maybe you like it um, I don't know but that's that's how the energies that is coming up because of the tree in reverse I feel that definitely there is this lack of growth and um and things in common, perhaps, that you, you feel like you might not have with, with your person. Um, some symbols from this night is the turtle, things going slowly or like being patient. Perhaps you're always the one being patient, um, being the wisest person, the horse representing movement. The, is this a fish? Um, yeah, representing emotions and desires to be open emotionally the butterfly representing transformation um the shell representing going in depth and being quite sensual as well and just wanting to connect on a deeper level mm. so yeah you're a very mature person 
you know what you want, you know what you're going after and you're not seeing much of it in, in this connection. So if this resonates, feel free to continue. We're going to check in with your person's energies right now. This is perhaps something that it's in your awareness already. So it's going to help you to recognize again if this is the right reading. We have the card of discord. So your person is feeling like there is a disagreement going on between the two of you. They feel some blockages in their growth indeed. It's like an acorn being put in the wrong environment. There's a lot of potential within an acorn. It could turn into a massive oak tree that is supporting so much different uh, life's, uh, life's forms on it, giving shade and nourishment to so many different species. So there is a huge potential in it. But because it's in reverse, it is telling me that it is being placed in the wrong environment. And that doesn't mean that you are the wrong environment at all. But they just feel like they... They're either not ready to grow, um, you know, or they still need the shade of the mummy tree um, to protect them. So that could mean why you feel this lack of growth in them. It's like there's a you can see a lot of potential in them, but it hasn't blossomed. It hasn't come out just yet, and that happens. That happens a lot. Um, especially yeah, when, when the other person is still kind of relying on a mother figure to make choices for them, to uh, arrange their life, sort their life. And um, it happens a lot in couples that the male partner is considering the female partner as the one that is actually um nourish them so, so so how do you say like making their laundry cooking for them sorting their life kind of uh, as if they were their mom and is quite the mm, disencouraging is that a word um so I feel like that's the situation. Perhaps you've been nagging at them. You, you've been like, why can't you do even just this? Why can't you tidy up after yourself? Why could you not um, text me first? Why do you always have to wait for me? Like, it feels like there's some sort of disagreement popping up because you're discontent with how they've been showing up with you. We also have the card number six, which talks about disharmony. If it was upright, it would be talking about things being in balance and um, them feeling like they're they, they're recognized for their job, they, they're feeling like you're rewarding them for their good efforts and there is harmonious energies between the two of you. Uh, but instead, because, you know, calm after storm as well, but because it's in reverse, it's like they know that there is a storm happening after a moment of calmness. Uh, they know that you're about to have an explosive um, discussion if they get in touch with you, that's what I'm feeling, or they're scared that this could be the possible evolution of the events they feel like they're definitely mm, yes not rewarded for their behavior because perhaps there is no behavior or maybe your expectations are way higher than what they can offer that sometimes happens you know their little cups could be much smaller than what would you like to be poured on your cup so that simply talks about a level of incompatibility, to be honest. The shared energies, apart from their projections and the black tourmalines, we also have play, um, play card and then the tent house in reverse. The tent house always speak about that final achievement, um, manifesting your goals, your life goals, your long-lasting dreams that you've been working for so long but because it's in reverse this is telling me that there might not be a shared goal between the, the two of you you might not have the ideal outcome in your mind you might not have the ideal vision in your mind of the two of you I don't know like getting married having a family building a home or things like that and because there is the card play it feels like again they are still embracing this childlike energy 
and they're not really interested in having something serious, then maybe you started a connection with the same energy. Because if this is shared energy between the two of you, it could be definitely that you've been in that position as well. Perhaps this is time for you to be truly honest with yourself and recognize whether you were in inside of you, like in, in your subconscious, feeling actually ready for a commitment, or if it was just your mind being ready for it. Sometimes we think we are ready for a long-lasting relationship, but then we have a lot of unresolved issues that are blocking us and bringing us to sabotage the connection, actually. And, you know, when we nag at the other partner a lot, that could also be a way to sabotage the connection. I'm not saying that this is necessarily what you have done, uh, but it's just an example of what could happen when, you know, the mind and heart don't agree necessarily that well. There is a black tourmaline, projections and the apple. We're going to speak more about those later as well, depending on what cards will pop around them with the tarot. But it feels like this connection, it definitely is having a massive effect for the two of you because it's helping you both to be self-reflective. So whatever you don't like in the other person is perhaps a projection of what you don't like in yourself and vice versa. The black tourmaline, again, it speaks about unwanted energy, toxic energy that you want to have bounced off of you. You do not want to absorb it. So p perhaps there is some type of uh, toxicity going on within this connection. Uh, that happens a lot when we're not, mm, we're not fully diving deep into our self-discovery and personal growth and we're not just being very honest about ourselves could even be talking about some type of addictions called dependency it could be that this is the toxicity that you see in them um perhaps they are into video games and being into alcohol and just having their mommy doing everything for them and you know, this is just not not good for you. You want to have it bounced off of you. The black tourmaline is the best crystal to not absorb negative energies from others. So we're also talking about someone that complains a lot but doesn't do anything to improve things. The apple of them save is all about choices. It really feels like you want to choose this person because you do see potential but you are frustrated because they're not showing up in the way that you want them to. Perhaps this is not a reason for you to completely give up on this connection but a reason to um well, we'll find out. We'll find out with the tarot cards. But uh, it could be that there is something that needs to be unlocked within you. Um, so that you can, you know, fully transform yourself in the, in the best version of yourself that is actually open for a long-lasting commitment that is healthy. Okay, so yes, if you do want to choose this person, I feel that it is going to be a tricky journey, uh, but it could be rewarding. There's definitely certain things that need to be changed, though, in the patterns of... Uh, communication between the two of you it could be that the communication is quite toxic between the two of you let's find out deeper now with the tarot so I'm gonna clear all of these article cards and I'm gonna grab my tarot deck and we're gonna shuffle it together here we go so we have the crystal unicorn tarot deck and we're going to be shuffling in together to ask what are your persons in mind thoughts and feelings about this situation of no contact five of swords the cards of conflicts just pop, popped out of the deck what are these persons thoughts and feelings about this connection please and thank you about this no contact situation photo pentacles so no matter the conflicts they want to hold on to you i'm just going to close the window because there's some noises I, I want to filter out hang on a minute 
let's get more cards. This person is tossing feelings about this situation on a contact. Great pile number three, please and thank you. A six of swords. Page of cups. Yeah. And the Emperor. This is such a nice reading. Also, very nice. You have all of the cards upright. I also do have cards in reverse, as you can see from the bottom of the deck. So it is it is a good sign that all of the cards are upright for sure. Where is the one that was using? Here it is. Five of Swords. Definitely, definitely this person is suffering from this separation, from these conflicts that have been um, arise. You say that? There have been rows between the two of you. Um, th there is a little bit of stubbornness as well, everybody, you know, having their own opinion, their own ideas of what is right and what is wrong. But this is also the desire to drop the sword, to walk away from the arena, walk away from the battle. So they, I feel like they do not want to fight any longer. Uh, there is this type of energies of like agreeing to disagreeing. And uh, I'm being proud for each other's uniqueness and uh, not wanting to hurt the other person. There is still desire though to speak up their truth and to have a new fresh beginning where uh, this connection is absolutely based on a healthy foundation of honest communication and where you guys, if you have to speak, you're only going to say nice words to each other. You're at least putting the effort. So this is what they're saying. That this is what they're feeling. That this conflict is actually being an opportunity to cut from the past and have a beautiful new beginning where you can start things from zero and create a new foundation for each other. Indeed, they want to hold on to you with that photo of pentacles. They feel like they have found a treasure in you and they do not want to share it with anybody else. They cannot bear the idea that you could possibly start thinking about dating other people. Um, so yes, they, they think that they should hold on to this connection no matter the difficulties. And that speaking you know, having a beautiful, open, fluent communication, it is going to resolve a lot of the issues, okay, which is beautiful, it's beautiful um, seen from this person, especially because we saw earlier that there are a lot of blockages, disharmony, disagreements, and also, you know, kind of childlike energy, not much desire to grow, and uh, what was the other card we've seen? He will come back to me. Um, but yeah, we, we haven't seen much of um, of commitment, right? But they are deciding to stick around anyway. To stick around anywhere. With the Six of Swords, they definitely want to move on from what happened. They don't want it to linger. They don't, And they want to make amends with that page of cups. They want to apologize. They want to... Actually, I feel that they want to take um be accountable for their actions for their words or for their lack of actions they want to be accountable they want to turn into the emperor which is a really strong masculine figure that is taking control upon the situation in a healthy way with a having in mind the well-being of everybody involved in the situation this is a beautiful beautiful card Okay, so they want to embrace that masculine energy. They don't want you to be the one taking initiatives all the time, feeling like all the weight of the connection is bearing over your shoulders. They want to show up for you. Yes, that was uh, what we didn't see. Um, but the last card, the last oracle card was like them not showing up for you, right? So... Um, I definitely see that th this is all really positive. This is all really positive. I feel that they want to get in touch with you with that Ace of Swords. They wanna, they wanna call you, text you, meet up with you, have a really long chat. 
being separated with you for a little while or not being in touch for a little while made them realize how those conflicts really should not bear much weight on this connection because they were not so important compared to um, how much they care about you. Page of Cups, you know, being a page is still someone that is learning about love, that is learning about themselves. He's not fully, like, he's not promising, he's not asking you to marry them, he's not promising you you're going to have a family, or, um, you know, he's not thinking straight away about massive plans for the future but he's telling you i want to show up for you i want even though i might be ignorant ignorant about a lot of areas in relationship i want to learn for you and i'm showing up with a genuine pure heart with pure intentions um that that is beautiful you know that admitting that they are that they still have to learn a lot, that they still have to grow, that they don't have perhaps much, um, sorry, my squeaky chair, that they don't have much experience perhaps in relationship and that's why they didn't realize the patterns where they were actually treating you as if you were their mom perhaps, doing everything for them. So their intentions see more their intentions for the near future six of cups in reverse seven of swords and the dead this is wow this is a powerful transformation I want to get another card the world this is stepping into a new world. This is like stepping into a portal that is uh, making them, you know, shifting their life entirely. So if they used to be a person that was emotionally not available, having a hard time to express their emotions, um, if they miss someone, they wouldn't tell them. Or if they, yeah, if they were just not very in touch with their emotions and uh, unable to show affection very well and if they were like avoiding romance so badly like running away as soon as they would see somebody falling in love with them they want to transform this they want to close entirely uh, like find closure from the past and creating a new reality for them let's see long lasting intentions for this person within this connection their long-term intentions please and thank you for this connection for pile number three please and thank you yeah we found open to commitment spiritual growth Ten of ones in reverse, getting rid of old baggage and the hermit coming out of the hermit modality. Let me just put this card straight to see if they're all wonky. That is beautiful. The hermit, the hermit in reverse. I definitely see how this person is so intended to come out of their shell. And, and show up for you in a different way that is definitely more mature. The hero front is like desire to either uh, enroll into university, into college, and to a particular course that they're interested, or even just learning lots about psychology, spirituality, and personal growth. There is definitely desire to, 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 to grow, to you know, the hair front oftentimes represents some a traditional system. So they might want to, I don't know if they're interested in religious or uh, some type of belief system that is already been set with sorts of rules and ethics and they want to learn from it. 
okay because they, they might have felt a little bit lost without the right addicts so now there is this intention to to learn from you know other some type of religious or philosophies or you know some even just going to the library and, and get lots of books out about relationships about human psychology in general I feel like there is this intention to learn more about themselves and others that is so beautiful and especially with that ten of wands there is this desire to relief release old baggage like I said hmm. so because you want to close with the past this could be talking about some heavy burden that their family have placed on them. It could even be, but it could even be talking about certain patterns that their family have installed in them, and now they're realizing they're not good for me anymore. So if their mom literally was the one doing everything for them, now they're realizing I have to completely detached from that pattern and start a new chapter in which my personality it is not depending on you know it is not it is not depending on those behaviors it is completely detached from my upbringing upbringing in that sense It is really hard. It is really hard actually to do something like that. Um, so I feel a lot of respect for this person that has this intention of being like resetting themselves, resetting in a way their um, not not necessarily their whole personality, but resetting certain behaviors that were just automatic in them. They were just part of their normality and now they're realizing it is not that normal actually if I want to become a man if I want to be someone's life partner I have to get my shit together and I can't just expect it there or treating me the same way that my family did so this is releasing all sort of old information old knowledge old patterns that are not mm, that are not beneficial for them same with the death card a very similar meanings now i feel like as well with that ten of ones it could be release of all those negative friendship that were not having a positive influence on them okay so hmm hermit in reverse again it could be that they're gonna go into a phase of self-discovery studying themselves and perhaps in that phase they're gonna drop all those negative friendship but then they don't want to stay in that hermit phase forever they want to use it to heal themselves so let's see more about their long um, term intentions within this connection with you please and thank you this is also releasing burdens from this connection with you so any bad memories from the past but uh, but argument they want to release it hanged unicorn so yeah some weight there to see things from a different perspective yeah three of swords six of wands in reverse and the queen of pentacles i feel that it is quite possible that if you're so fed up with them and frustrated with their behaviors, you might have decided to break up with them. You might have already done it. You might have already, you know, entirely closed this connection. And this is has made them realize how much they, they miss you and how much they do not want to run away from this pain. You know, Six of Cups could be like nostalgia as well, missing you. And because of that, you know, this, the desire to transform the self, like I said. But what I'm seeing here is that they are embracing this period of separation between the two of you. Um, to study themselves, like I said, and to analyze their pain, to feel their pain. 
um, it is humbling them a lot with that six of wands. If they used to have an inflated ego, this is really humbling them. Um, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. I feel that they're going to be a little bit scared to show, to, to come forward. Just in case you might reject them again. There is a little bit of that fear. What if I'm going to come out of this as a loser? What if this is not going to be enough? What are going to be their actions towards pile number three, please and thank you. Definitely you have triggered a lot of growth into this person. So whether this is going to turn into something concrete with you or not... You have to know that this relationship had a purpose, had a really strong meaning in both of you. So whatever direction it is going to take, it has been a catalyzer for huge transformation. Let's see their future actions towards file number three. Four cups, okay. So that phase of like feeling like they're not good enough and they might be rejected is going to is not going to last forever. High priestess in reverse. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, knight of pentacles. It, yeah, there is that desire to make some actions like we noticed earlier and show commitment towards you. But that only after a phase in which there's going to be no contact, separation between the two of you, so that is going to create that space between the two of you that is allowing growth, is allowing them to miss you, is allowing them to release, you know, old negative friendship, like I said, studying themselves. The high priestess is interesting, this is uh, curiosity towards anything that is spiritual, but also a bit skeptical about it. Or it's like feeling a little bit lost without you. Like, yeah, it's the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and High Priestess in reverse. It could be them missing, um, missing your presence as a very nurturing, down-to-earth person that is very stable and grounded and uh, quite extremely generous and caring and also extremely wise and they always it feels like you always know what is the right thing to do uh, when they need to make a choice they always come towards you for advice so I feel that they miss you a lot and and this is realizing them it is not worthy to miss the chance to be with them just because I'm scared to potentially being rejected and um and I have to believe in myself more just because I didn't show up very much in the past and I was like a, an idiot I was like a total child it doesn't mean that I cannot turn into a more committed person that has you know the brain over their shoulders and a desire to to, to bring something concrete in someone's life and to to be present, to be loyal, to be committed, to provide for them, to to grow together, to 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 have a common goal, to to nourish the connection. Okay, so I really feel that they do want to show up for you. There's gonna be a little bit of ups and down in between, like is normal in life. Some moments in which they are believing in themselves, some others in which they are not believing in themselves at all. But definitely, there is. you have allowed them to step into this new portal. They're seeing things so differently. With that hanged unicorn, they literally hang themselves upside down to see the world from a different perspective and be like, what if I've seen all of this from the wrong angle? What if... She is right. What if I've just been stubborn, but she's been right all along? So some advice for you as well. That we noticed earlier, there might have been some thing that you could have improved from your side as well to um, in, yeah, increase the chance of this connection to heal and the chance 
for reuniting yourselves. So an advice for pal number three. Hmm, childhood in reverse wanted to come out. That is about not taking any action right now, which would make sense, especially if you used to be the one taking action all the time. Judgment. Wheel of Fortune. So this could be as well, try to see your person from a different angle as well. Try not to judge them so much. Change how you view them. If you've been judging them really harshly without empathy towards them with that Queen of Cups in reverse, um, try to have a little more compassion, compassion for them. Queen of Swords, try to try to hold back from harsh comments or harsh words towards them. You know, with that black tourmaline, it could be that you guys have been said really harsh things to each other, you know, using using terrible words, king of swords, so definitely suggesting you to be honest with them, to bring clarity, you know, to, to clear the, com the communication style, okay? Because the queen of swords in reverse can be quite petty, can be using you know swearing words could use their words to hurt the other person could be quite hysterical as well shouting you know not using their words in the best beneficial way instead with the king of swords is much more composed they think because before speaking same for the Queen of Swords if she was a bride, you know, but every time that a card is in upside down, it could be talking about an unbalance. Okay, yeah, Tree of Pentacles in reverse. If you can, try not to involve anybody else within this connection. Try not to involve your sisters, your cousin, your mom, your father. Uh, try not to include anybody else that is not you and your person. Because that might make them feel as defeated already before starting anything. Might might make them feel um, demotivated to, to fight for this connection. Might make them feel like a loser already. So try, yeah, try to be the only person involved. To think before speaking. Try not to be too harsh. Uh, try not to be too impulsive and try to have a little bit of empathy and compassion towards them. That's what I'm getting. Five of Pentacles, like this card literally was begging to get out. It was at the bottom of the deck. So this card is telling me that you guys have not abandoned each other. You guys are still pretty much in each other's mind. Five of Pentacles in reverse, this is telling me that this is not the end this is not the end of this connection if you're feeling lost and confused and abandoned left out in the cold um try to feel more hope about this connection because there is potential for healing okay and uh, yeah try not to allow your negative thoughts uh, to take over with that devil as well at the bottom of the deck try not to allow obsessive negative thoughts to to ruin your energy okay so stay in a high vibrational state and keep being hopeful about this connection so that's everything i have for you really hope you've been enjoying this reading thank you so much for listening up until now if you're interested in getting a private reading to dive deeper into the connections of these energies sorry into the energies of this connection feel free to send me an email i have lots of different ranges of prices for readings half an hour is 28 euro one hour is 50 and an hour and a half is 70 you're going to be receiving a pre-recorded video or a one-on-one -on -one session based on whatever you prefer and we can think about together about the questions if you need help finding the right questions finding the right spread 
so I will be accompanying you throughout this journey all along and um, yeah I'm always here whenever you need I would appreciate if you could put a thumbs up underneath this video share the video with any of your friends if you think that they would resonate with it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel it would be amazing to have you here on board best of luck with everything much love see you soon